Hi Aries, welcome to your mid-month reading. I hope this finds you safe and well and healthy. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. I hope you'll enjoy this reading and consider subscribing or liking, sharing, whatever you feel called to do. For those who are returning, we're growing so fast. Aries, you've been a massive part of that. Um, I love your engagement. I love your honesty. I love your fierceness and your, you know, you got good energy. I think I've mentioned before, if you're new to the channel, you're going to hear it here. Uh, I always spill the tea. My um, daughter is an Aries and her father is, is an Aries. So talk about the three-legged stool with me as the Virgo. <laughs> they need me still to this day to ground them. So, um, but really wonderful. They are wonderful. I love my daughter. I love her dad. And um, it just makes me feel kind of extra special close to you all. Like I have a little window since I've spent... 30 years, <laughs> actually 40 years, uh, in the Aries element. Fabulous, fabulous. So what I'd like to do today is I'm pulling two cards from the um, Spirit Animal Oracle to start, one for the masculine, one for the feminine. I'm going to lay it out just that way, masculine here, feminine here, but you can feel free to flip the energies around. Okay, so as the story begins to unfold, you may recognize your, yourself on one side or the other. I just have to kind of set an intention and a frame of reference for my own benefit so I, I can keep things organized, okay? All right, this is good for Aries, Sun, and Rising. It is for the collective. If it doesn't speak to you, that's okay. Go watch the video uh, in this series that aligns with your rising sign if you happen to be here as a sun also, you can watch the sun and rising sign of your divine counterpart if you happen to have that information. Because oftentimes, messages come through directly to the cross watcher, okay? And you can get a lot of insight as to what's going on with them and how they are experiencing the connection. Not always, but it happens. Okay, enough of me rambling on. I'm going to just say as I'm pulling these cards, I am missing my hairstylist and my nail tech. <laughs> <laughs> so um, please be sure if you have their contact information to reach out to the people who kept you <laughs> looking reasonably well put together and let them know you miss them and appreciate them. <laughs> yeah, it's a thing. Okay, um, masculine gets canary spirit, card number 12. One and two is three. Three is usually about um, working in, in a sense, like community, right? It is team effort energy. It's also um, communication. Third house of the Zodiac is communication. Canary spirit, sing your own song. I feel this is a masculine who needs to speak up or at least, um, you know, speak their truth. Beautiful card, isn't it? Look at him wearing a crown. Almost feels a little king, king of swords. Um, but the king of swords is not as warm and fuzzy, and I feel this person is. Um, it's just an energy I'm picking up. Don't shoot the messenger. Hummingbird spirit for the feminine. Card 34, 3 and 4, 7. Highly spiritual number. Seventh chakra, connection to higher dimensions, your higher self. Hummingbird spirit, be here now. So right, so take your intuition, take your wisdom, take, take your knowledge, take your connection to your higher self, but main, stay in the moment, maintain your presence. Don't get lost in the other realms. Come back, come back. I also love this because the hummingbird, their wings move so fast that it looks, you can't see the wings moving. It does look like they're sort of suspended in midair. Be here now. Also feels a little bit like the hanged man energy. Hanged man kind of does that, right? Just stays very, very still to allow enlightenment to come in, staying very present and looking at the situation from all different perspectives. Um, you know, sometimes that really helps. Okay. Be here now. Sing your song. Nice energies. Now I'm picking one card. For Aries only, 
those of you that are here that are the Aries, this is your card. If you are here as a cross watcher, you have one of these cards in your video. <laughs> yeah. This is from Whispers of Love Oracle. Oh, beautiful. Okay, this makes perfect sense. Spiritual connection. A relationship has a connection that goes beyond this lifetime. Twin flame energy right here. Spiritual connection. Twin flame. I feel a powerful reading coming on, guys. Hang with me here. What do we need to know for Aries today? Twin Flame Journey, Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. Wonder what an itch on the side of my nose means. <laughs> it was really bad. I had to stop. Oh, guys, it's been a week. Okay, interesting. Masculine coming through here in the energy of the Page of Swords. Pages are messengers. Um, this can often be a message of clarity, of truth. It can also be a little bit of detective work. This can be someone who's kind of keeping tabs on someone else. Um, but in the absence of keeping tabs, which could just be, you know, you're on your social media feed, you know what that's like. It can also be little messages. It can be uh, um, communicating via social media. Uh, mainly with an effort to get to some sort of truth for clarity, purposes of clarity. Now the other side of my nose is itching. Honest to gosh, guys, what does that mean? Somebody put it in the comments. <laughs> Someone's going to say it means go blow your nose. <laughs> Feminine comes through as two of swords. Now two of swords gets um, very quickly dismissed as just being indecisive. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. Indecision, sure, but it's because there's all this other outside noise. And this is a person who is blocking out the external noise and input coming at them so that they can get very focused and, and get very clear on their own thoughts. So it is a little bit of stuck energy, but it's not a permanent stuck energy. It's more of a quieting the mind and trying to get Zen enough that you can um, find the meaning and the purpose in the, in the choice you have to make, if that makes sense. Okay, so now you're going to see it live here. <laughs> It's just, it's like all of a sudden out of nowhere. My nose is itching like crazy. I have no idea what that means. <laughs> it could just be my allergies. <laughs> oh, I don't want to stop this reading though. This is all too good over here. And now you're both in this air energy like normally. <laughs> if this happened a little bit earlier, I would shut this whole thing down and say, yeah, no, <laughs> that is not going to be my legacy for my child. Mommy scratching her nose on YouTube. You all, you're going to get some entertainment here. Okay, so we understand Page of Swords and Two of Swords. Uh, a feminine who is in the, or flip it around if you need to, who is really trying to quiet the noise and get clear before making a decision. So it's not really about being indecisive. It could be. But it, it may be more about trying to filter out all the external stuff flying around before they make a decision. Oh, my goodness. Two pages here for this masculine. That's very interesting. Mm-hmm. This is, this is uh, someone's trying to communicate something for sure. Yeah, on the feminine side, some big decisions uh, taking place here. 
and needing to do it in a, I'm just going to jump out of order a little bit, and needing to do it in a very solitary way. We have this um, present. So what this is, just for those of you who are new, I pull up the energies of, you know, what your energy is showing up as right here and now for this purposes of this reading. Then I sort of look at the masculine's experience of this connection, past, present, future, and the feminine's experience of the connection, past, present, future. Past could be long ago, past could be yesterday. So it's all based on, I leave it a little loosey-goosey so that you can find the messages that are meant for you um, instead of me making it so rigid. Here's the feminine. Two of Swords, Hermit. Hermit is Virgo energy here, but there's very much a solitary journey here, very introspective. Could be that this feminine is a Virgo, could also be that they're Taurus. We have a lot of Earth energy um, in you know the that part of the reading, and they're both major arcana, so that's important to note. But I'm really feeling this is a feminine who's very much on a solitary journey of um, you know, personal growth, inner, you know, really understanding themselves. Um but they kind of have to do it alone. This is the sage of the tarot, the hermit. Um, time really is uh, kind of isn't a factor. This this is also Kronos in Greek mythology, Father Time. So there's sort of this endless exploration of the self for for just the sake of inner knowledge and self and personal growth. So very interesting. And what that's kind of leading to is maybe some shifts in this feminine's belief systems. Hierophant, Taurus energy, um, you know, it's the Pope, right? See the hand up, taking the pledge. It is about our belief systems, our values, our morals, but it's about that which has been here in the 3D. It's almost a card of indoctrination, right? We are born, we have no beliefs. Our parents tell us what we believe. Then we go to the school system, the church or the synagogue, and they tell us what we believe. And then all of a sudden, we're all grown up and we're like, do I really believe that? So it is about commitment though. It's about the commitments we make our commitments to our beliefs, our commitments to our our craft, our commitments to our families, to our loved ones, and to our, uh, a, you know, a commitment to maybe a spouse or a, right. It's commitment in general, but it's conventional. It's a conventional interpretation, and I have a feeling that this is a feminine who is really questioning their beliefs about commitment. What does it mean? And I think that they got here the hard way. It's been a long road. They've been exceedingly patient. Seven of Pentacles, a lot of patience. Problem with the Seven of Pentacles is, if you look at him, he's kind of looking down there, very forlorn at this little pentacle, like, is that all you got? But he's got a stack of Pentacles here, growing organically, piling up. And it is a, uh, there is an energy here of, yes, you've been patient, it's been long and frustrating, but maybe get, shift into gratitude for what you do have, appreciate what you do have. So there's a little bit of a hint there that that may have set this feminine on a solitary journey to better understand their belief systems. Masculine is just showing up in this messenger energy. We got truth and passion here. It could also be somebody checking up on this person, really wanting to deliver like a light, flirtatious, passionate message. The Page of Wands is passion. The Page of Wands is you up, okay? <laughs> What's she doing? How you doing, <laughs> okay? Page of Wands is Joey on Friends. Have you ever watched a series show, Friends? Joey Tribbiani, how you doing, right? That's the energy of the Page of Wands. It's kind of sort of harmless, but it can be impulsive and it can be very self-serving, right? I want what I want when I want it. You up? Um, but in the past, there was an effort towards some balance and fairness and equal give and take. I don't know if there was an effort for it or if this was an issue, 
Maybe it was a problem that this feminine was being very patient, waiting for things to kind of balance out and be fair between the counterparts. So I will clarify that. But it's gracious energy. It's charitable energy. It, it is about reciprocity, equal give and take. But in the future, this masculine is moving into the energy of the magician. The magician is Gemini and Virgo. So we have Virgo again, um, twice I mean. And it is um, manifestation, having all the tools that one would need to create the situation they desire, to manifest it. So let's take a look at that. When I get to the extended, what I'll be doing is using this same deck and I will be pulling cards for now the connection. I'll bring the two of you together and look at past, present, future for the connection itself. I'll also pull cards for what you're not saying to each other, but that, you know, the messages you're sending energetically, whether you know it or not. Uh, I'll also be pulling a card that represents a message to you, Aries, from spirit, from your higher self, from the universe. However you receive your guidance, it could be a warning, a confirmation, a next best step. And then, I'll, of course, I'll pull outcome, what you can expect going forward. So that link is in the description box for the extended version. But for now, let's look at this page of swords. Yeah. So I think that this person... This masculine, um, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is slow, methodical, deliberate, responsible. It is an action card, but it's slow moving. So I almost feel like this is a masculine who's watching, you know, keeping an eye on, not in a creepy way. I'm not feeling creep factor at all, not in a creepy way. Just kind of keeping tabs on this feminine to see the feminine's process and moving slowly, not being as impulsive as I think they really want to be. So maybe moving too slowly for this feminine's liking. Definitely seeing this as a faded connection. Uh, you know, destiny's at the wheel here. Wheel of fortune. This is Sagittarian energy, Jupiter expansion, good luck, good fortune. It is divine timing. So this is a masculine who's saying, yep, I know I'll get there when I get there. I trust in the divinity that, you know, the... Um, divine timing, the nature of that, of that wisdom. That's why they're moving slowly, but they got their eye. They got one eye open over here. It's pretty interesting. In the past, we have the Six of Pentacles. By the way, that Swords, Page of Swords is Gemini, Libra, Aquarian energy. The Page of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sag. For those who like to keep track of that sort of thing. Well, I, this is, you know, King of Wands here could be a Leo. Um, it is more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag, emphasis on Leo. But it feels like there was some effort to strike a balance. Um, but this is someone who really knew what they wanted. King of Wands could be, could be uh, the feminine showing up in King of Wands in, in um, King of Wands energy very powerful, very determined, very magnetic, huge personality. It could also just be this masculine seeking balance because they know what they want. Um, and when I say seeking balance, what I'm saying is um, here in the 3D, making sure that everybody's needs are being met. I know what I want. I see what I want. I'm going to go for what I want, but I'm going to give as good as I get. One more on that. Yep, Ace of Swords. So I do feel this masculine had um, some moment of clarity in the past. This is divine. This Ace of Swords is a divine gift of insight. It's an aha moment. It's like a lightning bolt out of the blue that says, wake up. Can't you see this is your person? <laughs> it's a card of victory. It's, it's an instant flash of recognition of the other Yeah, I really feel like, and now this masculine is kind of baby stepping it in the page energy. Page of Wands now, moving very slowly. I feel, I wonder if it was too fast for this feminine.
Oh. Yeah. So all the almost all the pages are here now. The only one we're missing is the page of pentacles. Um, so we'll need to pay attention to that in this part of the reading. We have page of wands, five of wands, page of cups. Five of wands is conflict. It could be arguing, bickering, passionate, you know, um, in an argumentative way. It can also be outside interference, something coming from the outside that's blocking the connection. And I feel like here's this masculine saying, yeah, you know, I, I want to keep things light and flirty and fun. And that's causing conflict. And they feel the need to apologize. This is a message of love or apology in the Page of Cups. In this context here, Aries, I kind of feel like this is a masculine who didn't represent themselves truthfully. They were in the King of King of King of Wands, Ace of Swords energy. And what they are showing is page energy. And that's caused some conflict and I feel that they want to apologize for it or set the record straight from their heart. Because I don't think they were really showing their full hand. And now as a result, they have to kind of let fate work it through. They have to move slower, keep an eye on the feminine here. Magician. Going forward, why is the magician here for this masculine, please? Yeah, this manifesting a wish granted. They just don't know how to do it. Eight of Swords, one more, please. Yeah, there's a little bit of overwhelm here and temperance i'm going to take that too so here's what we have underneath the deck when i pull from under the deck for those who are new it's really the energy that's unconscious it's bubbling up under the surface but it's kind of outside of this person's awareness or over here if i pull from the bottom of the deck so we have seven of cups and temperance temperance is more sagittarian energy but that seven of cups is like emotional overwhelm it's a lot of things to to sort through on an emotional level. It can be, you know, having lots of options, whatever that means. The way I'm seeing it, the way I'm reading it is there's emotional overwhelm, a lot of emotional stuff to process and they have to temper the energy. They have to kind of balance between running too hot or too cold and sort of settle in an energy that's balanced. This is also a card of patience. So it tells me that this masculine, while they have all the tools in their tool chest, they have the, the wand, the cup, the pentacle, the sword, they have everything they need to manifest what? To manifest their wish granted, star energy, Aquarian energy here. A wish granted, dreams coming true. It is um, having trust, faith in the universe to help you provide, help provide you with this opportunity for manifestation of that which you just very much being held in protection as well. They don't know how, what next step to take. They're stuck. Eight of Swords is the energy of overthinking things. So this is someone who has everything they need to manifest that which they want and desire, okay, which is this person, but they don't know their next best step. And if you look, the next best step is right into water, into a puddle. That is your emotion. So this person is afraid, um, maybe feeling stuck and trapped and un re not ready to process their feelings. And I say that, and the next card that comes out is the Ten of Cups, because this is a lot. If what this person wants is this nirvana, this happily ever after, the Ten of Freaking Cups energy, yeah, they're going to overthink that because there's a lot riding on it. That's why the emotional overwhelm and the need to balance and temper their energies. So all in all, I feel this masculine has good intentions. I think they undersold themselves. I don't think they um, truly represented themselves the intensity of their feelings and desires earlier on that seems to be causing a conflict so they've backpedaled page 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 
and now they're really working to manifest a dream come true but they're feeling stuck and a little bit um overthinking things because there's a lot riding on that ten of cups okay let's switch over to the feminine two of swords please here for the feminine Mm. Feminine's pretty closed off. Yeah, leave me alone while I'm working this through. Four of four of um, pentacles. If you look at the four pentacles, that center pentacle, see that guy's got a vice grip on it. Where is that pentacle? It's right here covering the heart chakra. So I do feel this is a feminine who feels the need to protect themselves, who's very guarded right now but who's on an inner journey of some growth here, some self, some, uh, you know, self-knowledge. Um, I'm going to pull another card on that. Yeah. Laying down a heavy, heavy burden. I feel this is a feminine who felt they were carrying more of the weight of the connection on their shoulders. So they're right now at a stopping point. Guard is up. They're not moving forward. They went through this for a long time, very patient. This, they put in a lot of effort here. Really put in a lot of effort. They were waiting for the life partner. Sure, patient and waiting for this person to evolve into the life partner, King of Pentacles, to be dependable and responsible and someone they could count on to always be there as a life partner would be, that's what they were working to manifest. So now we have a little bit of mirroring here. I almost feel like you've swapped roles. You've swapped roles a bit. And that's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yeah, because it's about the two of cups. See, this feminine knew this is the real deal. This is my soulmate. And this is a feminine who cannot be breadcrumbed. So, uh, and good, that's correct. Trying to manifest this life partnership or someone that uh, they could count on that would be dependable. That King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, if that matters to you, it, it, but just as an energy, it's someone that comes home to you every night or who calls you every day or who says, hey, you know, how was your day? Let me take your car out and fill it up with gas so you don't have to sit in the lot. You know what I'm saying? Just like a partner. And I feel like that's what they were manifesting very patiently, allowing it to, to kind of grow organically because they knew it was the soulmate, two of cups underneath the deck. That was unconscious energy, perhaps, or if they knew it consciously, then it was something that they kind of kept under wraps, right? And now they're on a very solitary journey. This feminine is hermit energy, wise, very much the guide in this connection, I feel. Probably the, more of this, the spiritual guide. Yeah, a lot of heartache. That had to hurt. And they're healing. And there's the breadcrumbing. Remember I said we don't have the page of pentacles. We'll have to watch for that because that's the breadcrumbing. That's what exactly what it was. And you know what? This storyline came out for Scorpio. So if you are here as an Aries and you were at all involved with a Scorpio or if this person is a Scorpio, um, go watch that reading. If you have Scorpio rising or prominently in your chart, your moon or your Venus, go watch that Scorpio reading. That breadcrumbing was the whole topic. And now I see the Hierophant in the future. Beautiful Aries. This is a spiritual connection for sure. I want one more on that. Oh, of course. So glad I did that. So I feel in the future this feminine is going to talk about um, is going to talk about their beliefs around commitment, what it means, what what it looks like to them. 
why they value it in the conventional sense, which means that this is because I see this King of Pentacles, I feel I'm dealing with a feminine who's saying, look, are you in or are you out? Are we a thing or are we not? And I feel they need to communicate that more clearly. Let this person know what commitment means to them and where that comes from, where those beliefs come from, so that this person can better understand and know what they're in, you know, dealing with here. But you got to communicate about it. And then I see the um, strength card, more Leo energy here. What I like about the strength card is, you know, obviously being strong and courageous and persevering and overcoming a challenge and blah, blah, blah. But what I like about it in this particular setting is once this communication begins to take place, the two of you will help each other. This is, yes, it's perseverance, but it's also kind of, see how she's scratching the lion's nose and she's kind of taming the beast. And then what happens is the lion protects her in return. There's like this, we're back to that six of pentacles, that give and take. You scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. They'll, you'll work through this together. You'll persevere together once the communication opens up about what it is you want as the feminine, what you want, what does commitment mean? What does that look like? Does it mean just call me every day or text me good morning sunshine? Does it mean, no, I, you know, I wanna see you X number of days. Like, what does it mean? Get very literal about it. And this is someone who's talking to the past life soulmate, six of cups. This feminine sees this as the twin flame soulmate for sure. And I do feel it would help if this feminine would describe that energy a little bit more to this masculine because I kind of feel they're on the same path. You know, moving forward, magician, the star, ten of cups. They're, they're getting there. They're really close. They're really close. Be here now to the feminine. Sing your own song to the masculine. Spiritual connection here. Um, I feel this is a beautiful, beautiful connection. I hope that you have found this reading helpful. If you want to continue to follow me to see where we go in the connection itself and what it is you're trying to say to each other, the link to the extended is below. I look forward to seeing you there. Please stay well and I'll see you, um, I'll see you in a future reading by Aries.